Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below, and turn on notifications by clicking on that bell icon. Breaking Senate panel back shady intel report on Russian meddling on Putin's orders after interviewing Clapper and Brennan. The Senate, the Senate intel panel led by none other than Mark Warner and Richard Burr backed the shady intel report on Russian meddling after interviewing James Clapper and John Brennan in a closed-door session. This intelligence community assessment report was created on January 6th of 2017 by Obama's deep state operatives. Now, James Comey was a no-show Wednesday. The 2017 Intel report is one big echo chamber of Hillary's phony dossier, Russia dossier, but when has integrity and honesty ever mattered to Democrat Senator Mark Warner? Senate Intel Committee leaders backed the shady intelligence community, uh, community report that accused Russia of trying to interfere in the 2016 presidential election by boosting Trump. They claimed the Russian meddling was ordered by Vladimir Putin himself to boost Trump and harm Hillary Clinton. This is unbelievable. Mueller's indictment of 13 Russians and three Russian companies didn't even mention Putin or the Russian government. A Fox News reports this. Senate Intelligence Committee leaders on Wednesdays backed the 2017 Intelligence Community report that formally accused Russia of trying to interfere in the U.S. presidential election to boost then-candidate Donald Trump. Their statements followed a final closed-door interview on the matter with top Obama administration officials. The committee, led by Chairman Richard Burr and Vice Chairman Mark Warner, spoke Wednesday with former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, former Central Intelligence Agency Director um, John Brennan, and former National Security Agenda Director Michael Rogers, who retired earlier this year. Now, despite Comey's absence, the committee leaders announced for, uh, afterward that they were able to complete the review of the intelligence community's Russia assessment. Committee staff have spent 14 months reviewing the sources, trade craft, and analytic work, and we see no reason to dispute the conclusions, Burr said in a statement. There is no doubt that Russia undertook an unprecedented effort to interfere with our 2016 elections. I look forward to completing the committee's inquiry and issuing our findings and recommendations to the American people. Warner said after a thorough review, our, a review, our staff concluded that the ICA conclusions were accurate and on point. The Russia effort was extensive, uh, sophisticated, and ordered by President Putin himself for the purpose of helping Donald Trump and hurting Hillary Clinton. Now, Burr and Warner, who are leading the panel in investiga investigating Russia meddling and coordination with Trump campaign associates in the 2016 presidential election, hope to wrap up their probe by the end of summer. So now, even after the House Intel Committee found that there was no collusion, Senators Warner and Burr still have the gall to back Obama's officials on their Russia meddling report. Now, we shouldn't be surprised since Mark Warner tried to set up a secret meeting with dossier author Christopher Steele through the lobbyists of a Russian oligarch. On the other side of Capitol Hill, like I said, the House Intel Committee, led by Devin uh, Nunes, has concluded that there was no collusion between the Trump campaign and the Russians. So be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below and tell me how you feel about this report and the fact that now the Senate is trying to say there was Russia collusion when the House Intel Committee even found that there was no Russia collusion. But again, being led by Mark Warner and Bill and, uh, uh, and Burr, doesn't surprise me that they found that there was collusion. You know they're not going to let it go. They're never going to let it go. It's time for the deep state to finally start being punished for their crimes, for their corruptions, and start going to jail. It, it, it's getting ridiculous. But I hope you guys have a great day. Let's make America great again. I appreciate you. Peace.